Hello everyone, how's it going? I am back with day 3 of my Breezy Flick progression and today we are doing a comparison of day 1 to now as you could probably tell by the thumbnail and the title. This video is more to explain what I was doing wrong and is to help people who are learning as well just like I was. I just wanted to say that tomorrow is going to be mainly matches and trying to hit the clips because to get more consistent you just need to practice it but free play clips will be a bit boring so I'm going to just do matches and I hope you do enjoy the video. Make sure to drop a comment and tell me what you think. If you have video suggestions, I would love to hear them. And I hope you have a great day. Enjoy. Alright, so firstly I'm going to talk about when I first started. When I just got into Breezy Flicking, it was a lot to take in. I was missing loads and completely whiffing the ball. I couldn't even hit the ball because I had such a bad setup constantly. And wasn't consistent at all. I ended up practicing the setup for a while, then going into a private match with slow mo muters as I explained in day one. I then decided to make a custom training for it so that I could keep practicing it, but occasionally taking breaks so it wasn't just becoming muscle memory, but instead a skill. I'm going to put some clips on screen to analyse and break down what I was doing wrong. So let's get into it. Alright, so as you can see from the screen right now, this was one of the problems and probably one of the main issues I was having. The setup was horrible. The ball was either too far forwards or too far back. This, it was too far forwards and it meant every time I went for the breather, I could barely hit it. It would just roll across the floor or I'd whiff it as shown here. It was so low to the point where I couldn't actually do anything with it and every time I would just mess it up because of that. So, to stop this, all I needed to do was work on the setup, which I ended up doing, and I ended up being able to get the setup way more consistently. Alright, so this is a quick little clip, but all this is, is on the setup, if you accidentally tornado spin a tiny bit too much, you end up getting pushed a bit to the side of where you want to be positioned so instead of leaning fully back like you should be in this clip that I'm going to show you you instead just backflip instead of doing the muster because you're not leaning back over 90 degrees this messes up the breezy and was another bad issue that I kept having constantly alright so I'm going to show you a couple of perfect breezes and I'm going to explain why they are so perfect and how they ended up being so amazing. So we're going to slow mo some. I'm going to bullet point, give you a list of why and how these were amazing. So let's get into that. Alright, so these two clips here are two of the best breezes you can do. And I'm going to explain why now. Okay, so the reason these two shots are the perfect breezes is because of this here. You probably already know by now, but if you don't, let me tell you because I'm going to be using this term a lot. So in this clip, the ball rolls through my whole car. This basically means the ball ends up going through the whole car and therefore giving it the two main factors of the perfect breezy, height and power. It sounds easy, but it's extremely difficult and takes a lot of time to fully master. Now to get the ball to roll through your car, you need to have the perfect speed, dribble, and breezy movement. So, let's look at the clips and show you what I mean. Alright, let's look at this breezy flick. So here, you can see I'm approaching the ball, about to pop it up, obviously, start the dribble. When I go towards the ball, as soon as I jump, you can see the ball is not too high up on my car, but not too far forwards. And I also am not going too fast to the ball. I am matching the speed of the ball. The reason I'm doing this is so I don't go flying past the ball. I don't stay too far behind the ball. The ball doesn't go way too far away from me, etc. So I want to match the speed of the ball. So that's how you get the perfect speed. You want to be decently fast still with your speed. Just so you get more power on the breezy. You also want the position. To be perfect here it's not too high up on my car it's not too low down my car and the breezy setup is perfect as soon as i get to my wheels facing my camera i stop i start spinning as soon as i'm facing downward with my nose i instantly flick up through the ball and it goes flying it doesn't go in unfortunately or as you can see here if we slow this down 
you can see I'm boosting just so I get more power. Still matching the speed of the ball. I jump. Still same speed of the ball. Ball's not in a bad position. It's perfectly positioned. I spin to, like tornado spin for the breezy. As soon as my wheels are facing my camera, I start spinning round, letting go of tornado spin, but um keybind, and I just spin round and pretty much as soon as I'm facing directly down, I use my dodge to flip all the way through and you can see here obviously replay's a bit laggy. But you can see the ball goes through my whole car. There on replay, it looks like I don't even touch the ball. But replays, if you have seen them, are not the greatest. But anyways, that's going to do it for this video. I really hope you guys do enjoy this um, video. Um, day 3 is going to be coming out soon. There's also going to be a tutorial coming out soon for a certain thing. There's going to be a couple actually. Um, it's going to be a, a little surprise. Uh, thanks for all the support and I hope you enjoy. Cue the outro. Thank you.